Welcome gamers to a video series actually, which I'm gonna be bringing out very, very soon. This is not actually part of the series, but I thought I'd do an intro. If you're interested in this game at all, if you start to sort of watch and think, okay, I'm, I'm half interested, uh, I wanted to just give you a bit of a, a guidepost or a signpost as to which videos you may be wanting to watch out of the first handful of videos. So the game is called Brigandine Legends of Runesia, and it's a really cool game. It's basically a JRPG meets Grand Strategy meets Tactical Excellence. The first video really just goes through, I guess, an introduction about particularly the, I guess, the, the JRPG. Now that's a sort of Japanese role play games. And so it's very much manga heavy. Um, it's got, you know, this the typical manga sort of style of, of illustration done beautifully, I've got to say. I actually really like that style. I find it really quite artistic. I know some of you don't like or won't like the fact that, you know, it's sort of, it could be considered exploitive, I guess, of, uh, of female forms, etc. But it's, um, but I still find it like as a cultural experience, I quite like it, to be honest, just that I do, I do enjoy it. Uh, just again, from that sort of uh, more artistic sort of style of things. Uh, the grand strategy in this game is exceptional. And so really episode zero sort of introduces the concepts behind the game, what the components are, where they all sort of fit. Um, how how monsters and and heroes com combine on the actual map itself with some other little tips as well. So it will just give you a bit of a grounding as to what the I guess what the components are that you're dealing when you are playing Brigandine. Episode one will really start to sort of talk about the quests that you can then sort of do. So episode one is really just like how we we sort of start turn one in the game and, and doing your quests is really quite important to sort of then get different items. Episode two, we start to then sort of move our forces out in, in the strategic map. And with that particular one, we then go and get, uh, you know, figure out what we need to protect, what forces we need to put in those different locations to protect those locations effectively, and also what forces we need to put together into an attacking force to then go and take enemy territory. Episode three, we eventually get to sort of start the battle. But look, if you really are wanting to see the tactical aspect, you may want to skip episode three and go straight to episode four. Episode four really does then go into the into the nitty gritty of the actual battle itself. Um, I explain a lot of things about how different units sort of uh, perform in battle, things to look out for, uh, how the magic system works, how the skill system works, uh, what to look out for in terms of sort of being able to move different sorts of forces, what forces you need to protect. Uh, every unit has a role to play and they're not equal. Like you've got dragons, which are my favorite units by far. They're sort of like big grunty, very, you know, very damage, damage sort of uh, centric units, <laughs> which uh, can really take a fair bit of damage themselves. So they're my favorite units by far in the game, but you can't have all dragons in your force. You do need to sort of mix and match things a little bit. Terrain also does play a bit of a role with that as well, but I do talk about that probably earlier than in the in the game, really, when I'm talking about planning for defense, which I think would be episode two. And then finally, basically, episode five then really sort of continues continues on. It's, I think that's pretty much a self-contained battle after the after the first big battle where I'm doing a lot of explaining. The second one really sort of starts to sort of accelerate fairly fast forward from that from that particular point in time. Anyway, this is a game I'm really thoroughly enjoying. I thought I'd actually just do a bit of an intro video to it, just in case you are interested in sort of either wanting to skip ahead of different things, if, you, if there's aspects you're not interested in, it really is three games in one. If you like the role play aspect, you know, like the Japanese role play aspect, then you've certainly got that. The game is not an easy game. It's, it's really quite a deep game. You've got, as I say, you've got the strategic layer where you've, you know, sort of moving pieces on a, on a board. And uh, then finally, you've got the tactical battles as well, which are exceptionally good. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you next time.